Hi, weather and climate. Some of you had trouble with Chapter 8 with the Coriolis effect and using these cards. So I wanted to go over it real quickly with you. They want you to use a 3x5 card. These are bigger than 3x5, so hopefully you'll be able to see them. If we take card A, and say this is card B. Card A, we're supposed to cut it lengthwise. And then tape it down. And card B, we're supposed to cut widthwise, and then slide that into our card A. All right. Now, the first thing we're supposed to do, if we mark an X where the center is, is to draw a straight line along the cut. You notice it's straight. Well, nothing was moving. So that makes sense. Now this part's the hard part. Just so start the X, and then as you're drawing along the line, you're supposed to rotate the card. Not easy. And what does it do? It curves. And actually it curves to the right. Because in the northern hemisphere, the Coriolis effect makes the wind curve to the right. Now I don't like this way of doing things. I prefer describe it this way. If this is the North Pole and we're looking at the Earth from above, okay, the Earth goes counterclockwise on its axis. Now if we try to if I try to draw a straight line while it's spinning, you see how it curved to the right. This is the effect of the Coriolis effect. If the Earth wasn't spinning, it, the straight line would be a straight line, right? If I draw another straight line and it curves to the right. We can even draw the straight line in a different way. Let's see, I'll do it, draw it this way. That even curved to the right crazy like. So hopefully that helps with chapter 8.